Hi guys! Grand rising and a happy Valentine's Day. It's so lovely to see all of you. If you see the little red light up in the corner, that means I'm live now. If not, then that means that this was previously recorded, but that's okay because the message is still for you. So please um, go ahead and sit with me. Let's see what Source has for you guys today. It's so wonderful to be back and I'm so excited to give you guys your message today. In honor of Valentine's Day, we will be using both of my red decks here today, along with a few other ones, but we're gonna start here with a Divine Feminine. So we're going to get the overall energy of what Source would like you to know today. Okay. Love is my lineage. <laughs> um, this is the mother of Imams. This is love is my lineage. This is love is my everything. I follow my heart um, by alignment of the stars, by... Um, like cosmic alignment i live this way gratitude and love is my religion is what this card is saying living from the heart on valentine's day how beautiful but living in love every day outside of this um unfortunate commercialized holiday that sometimes gets a little bit more um about the effects of gifts and things like that than it should and this is talking about more finding from the inside of your heart of what you truly would like to do in life you need to start following that because as a new moon um, is reaching new phases you're reaching new phases of yourself as well there's awakening coming coming here for many people on many different levels money as well um, I, they're gonna have me pause with that deck for just a moment and pull a card from the money deck and the uh, Deepak Chopra success deck okay so I refrain from judging others as this could hinder my money manifestations or the things that I truly desire and I touch my spirit because when I touch my spirit the source of unabounded affluence and abundance flows through me wearing your crown and being true to who you are shining your brightest or showing um, your most dazzling self like a peacock would and being confident and being confident because you are living in love and source is telling you that you're being guided by such love is the best way to be okay let's see we're gonna pull another one from the divine feminine Okay, Sunday, a day of religion or holy day, no, um, by no coincidence, we have um, Guadalupe here, our, our Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, this has to do with religion. This is some sort of root chakra healing that is happening, not only because it's Valentine's Day and it's the day about love and all those things, when we really should be loving each other each every single day. We shouldn't keep that in mind, but um, we also um, are shifting at the ways that we look at love or that we look at the foundations of love or what love can be or what it's expected to be of us and maybe that there's other ways or things that have been set in place by religion that is not not true to what it is that you're asking to go forward with when living in your heart if you're living in your heart something maybe possibly with religion is putting a boundary or a box on how you would like to go forward with something this is in love this is in relationships this is partnerships this is a uh, romantic relationships and this is also for a small group of collective uh, friendships but I feel mostly romantic and uh, business relationships here following truth and going forward with what your heart truly desires uh, regardless of religion maybe or um, because of religion you have found some sort of new way that you'd like to do something this can also be the opposite end of the spectrum but I truly honestly feel that for the largest group of collective this is figuring out that something about religion does not fit into who it is that you truly desire to be at your happiest there is something coming for a positive shift. Um, here, all of these red roses are indicative of true, unconditional, passionate, romantic love. And um, for the business partnership, this is like passion about whatever it is that you've set your endeavors to. The Divine Mother unconditional love exists within me. They are asking you to look at all situations regardless of the perspective that you're in now and insert love there in between everything and use that as a veil and a shield to see things through. 
be honest and true to yourself and what it is that your heart truly desires because when you do the sun is indicated here the sun is the ultimate wish fulfillment ultimate happiness in all of tarot the goddess of devotion i am love that does not leave this is devout devoted love i cannot make this up what a beautiful reading i couldn't make this any better <laughs> on a valentine's day reading here then for i am love that does not leave when i commit to love i am fully wholeheartedly committed and this is you're devoutly passionate about something here the passion here with these red roses says that this could be passionate about your religion and now something is changing or because of um, there is also an awakening happening happening here with a group of collective that has to do with I have been raised this way in a specific um, section of religion or a specific type of religion and now I'm trying to find my own spiritual ground for what it is that I believe to be truth piecing things together to understand what it is that's happening currently in your specific existence to form what it is that you're desiring because um, I am love that does not leave there is something you're very passionate about here this is a new business endeavor for sure there is a large group of people that are going for entrepreneurs entrepreneurship here um, and this is divinely guided as corporation is no longer serving us as a whole and as a collective and we're starting to realize that there's less room for that and more room for people living their own dreams and finding their own spirits and shining like their own peacocks for themselves and going about that um, in a compassionate way here this is root chakra level beliefs to do with money i am authentic to love i am my authentic self i solemnly swear to be true to myself and live true to my heart and i will do nothing else the goddess of self-knowledge i am fully aware of what it is that i am devoted to and what i am standing in and that is love and i will not move i will not be swayed and i stand here with all oaths and vows to myself with self-knowledge that I am divinely connected to source and going in the direction in which they wish me to be. And I end with the high priestess here. Male or female, the high priestess is standing in your power, owning it and knowing it, and now thriving because of it and reaping all of the benefits because you stood your ground in something that could have shaken you but did not. You use some sort of energy that, uh, they're literally giving me goosebumps right now, I don't know if you can see my hair, but my goosebumps are going insane right now, giving me confirmation that you have gone through something that was a very large, pivotal energy shift that has to do with the way that you're believing in money and also in love and how relationships work maybe possibly never seeing a healthy relationship and trying to piece together and understand with self-knowledge and the divine guidance of source how to make that work because you're not sure or um, this also could be maybe never seeing a successful entrepreneurial ship take off and you're a little bit nervous as to oh the odds are against my favor but they're not stand in your power and going forward with that idea is divinely guided um, this is three, six, nine, three times three, dividends of three, triangle, a strong foundation. The strongest foundation in all of the universe is a triangle. Uh, pyramids are a bunch of triangles pieced together. There's a larger knowledge there. Uh, actually, the um, coordinates for where the uh, pyramids are in Egypt are the exact coordinates of the speed of light. There, That is not by accident. Um, there is so many different connections throughout the universe that we need to be aware of that um, the universe is asking us to live in our soul's purpose here. Live with your soul in your high priestess energy and think only positive because as a collective, we are living, um, I, I constantly say in your humanness or um, I, I talk to my family and I kid and say my avatar because my avatar here is a medium between um, soul spirit and all of that and here in the, the 3D humanness and um, in our existence here on earth. Our existence here on earth together I see as one big huge gigantic collective dream. And we are influenced by things that we learn, our background, our knowledge, our TV, our books, our religion, um, our family members, our experiences throughout life. And all of those experiences are created by how we are raised from the beginning. And there has to be um, certain specific things that are, um, I'll say, manipulated throughout your world to create certain moral boundaries like um, 
and I don't want to say like manipulation like this is a bad thing but I'm saying like there are specific things that maybe you may have set as a standard that other people do not because of how you were raised those make us different but still we're the same and ultimately seek the same goal and that's to be happy that is to feel emotional fulfillment and to feel joy. We all have the same similar goal and um, we all need to understand that that is the main goal of everyone and our souls is to elevate and feel emotional fulfillment and joy. And when we're doing that, if we can understand that at a soul purpose and that our core purpose is Source wants us to elevate and to thrive. Source wants you to do well. It is your negative self-sabotaging thoughts and the way that our brains have been conditioned with media, music, television, all of those things, uh, Facebook, Instagram, those are some of the worst, especially right now for our young people. Um, and even adults. Um, there's adults that are completely addicted to their phone and that never leave their phone or that never leave their electronic device. That unfortunately is an addiction that you need to recognize and like, whoa, what is going on here? Because if I didn't have this, how would my day go? We would be completely and profoundly and utterly probably stopped and paused did we not have any sort of um, electronic devices during our day. So um, disconnecting from that and understanding that there is a larger connection, much like Wi-Fi, <laughs> that connects us all heart to heart, soul to soul, that we are here for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to love, feel joy, and to be happy amongst each other. So anything else is not truth, and Source doesn't recognize it as such. So um, living in one big, huge collective dream can be um, a good thing or a bad thing, or it, and Source sees I, neither one and it sees both at the same time so um, if we can think and stay positive and keep a positive frame of mind and keep going in a positive um, frame of thinking then um, let's say it's just me and even if I'm not on here talking to all of you and I go to um, my place of work and I'm extremely happy today because I've just had a wonderful meditation and I'm super excited. I had a great cup of perfect tea this morning and then I got up and the sun was shining and my car started perfectly just the way I, all of these things are happening right directly in line and all of these beautiful, wonderful blessings have happened to me before I even reached my workplace. So now I'm excited. I'm thrilled. I'm happy to be here. I love what I do and that excitement and joy is overflowing to everyone in my environment and they can feel it from me because because it's so true and it radiates so bright. Whenever you're doing that, just you doing that can affect all the people at your job, whoever whoever that is, however many people that can be, just your one little glimpse of hope to maybe somebody at work who is having an absolutely devastating experience that you know nothing about, saw your smile and your excitement and received a small little Hershey Kisses from you that you decided to bring today to work because it's Valentine's Day and that small act of compassion that said, I thought about you while I was at home, away from here, that you mattered enough for me to go, even if it's just a $2 bag of candy for me to go give you this piece of candy in a gesture that I care that you exist that something small reaches out and lets people know that the, that you care and that changes people's lives like you wouldn't understand living your life in accordance to one small act a day that has nothing to do with anything you can gain a selfless act of love and compassion, a compliment to somebody who looks like maybe they're having a really bad day or who doesn't look like they're the most confident walking today or, hey, I hope you have a good day or, you know, I really like your shirt today. Something like that could be something very simple to you but monumental to someone else. Spending your days in love and doing things for kindness and others is a beautiful way to live and it is most definitely what Source is asking you to do. By all of these cards here that have been thrown out for the collective of today they're asking you to live in self-love and that overflows to live in <clears throat> to others living in love okay they're gonna pull a few more from this deck and one more and then i think they're going to close out okay okay so frog this is um this is being there in serenity, uh, 
maybe behind um, behind other things that are struggling. The frog, this is leaps and bounds going forward. Um, this is finding, maybe this is for some of you, going through a very difficult emotional situation or something that is very, very heavy. Um, I'm sorry, love, I don't know who that just was, but I saw something about great message. It went up, thank you so much. I love you too, thank you. I'm glad that you love the message. Okay, um, so frog, leaps and bounds going forward, being haunted by something that is of your past that you need to get past already we need to move on because living in guilt or shame or something is is not for this time right now we need to be new us we need to be new moon new us right now this is living in what it is that we would like to see our um our environment come forward as in the future so the leaps and bounds that are that are happening now are for our future selves as well ritual 33 earlier i told you three times three um six nine this is developing a ritual or someone having a ritual that brings some sort of leaps and bounds here or if you want leaps and bounds create a ritual for yourself with some sort of um uh, de like devout uh, routine is what they're asking so that you can um understand the journey at a deeper sense of why the curves and winds are there so that you can see the forest through the trees here and through the darkness um 24 2 and 4 that's 2 times 4 uh, that's uh 2 times 4 is 8 uh, 8 is infinity uh this journey is infinite uh energy only transmutes even if someone passes the energy is never really gone it just transmutes into a different side of the veil into a different dimension or into a different area of the universe there is no depleting or diminishing of i i recant my statement not depletion i'm sorry my humanness used the incorrect word uh there is no definitive end to energy um in this journey because it is everlasting ever evolving and here in your humanness you need to learn to walk comfortably with those that make you feel loved and um here we have third harvest three and eight those numbers we were just talking about um daughters of the wood uh sacred healers people gathering to heal this is not uh but this is broom this is sacred to uh witchcraft and to healers as this is how we sweep energy out of our environment so that it is sacred for you to come in and be healed and it's okay and safe for us to stay and heal you and live in that environment this is something sacred that you may need to do cleansing of your space possibly is indicated here um we have the number three the uh, people coming in and out of my uh, i've had three six <laughs> twelve now uh, those numbers are up on my screen right now um this is also family tree this is also family matters this is deep uh woven some sort of um uh commitment and uh like commitment to ritual and this ritual brings you great harvest and a sacred healing and uh, energy sweeping. Okay, um, we now will grab a crystal card. Cleaning your space, um, cleansing your space, um, like physically and also spiritually. Please be careful when smudging because I'm using sage needs to be a lot of people use that just because that's something that's very popular but I want you to be careful with that because that is not something that you use lightly without the knowledge of how it brings energy to you because if you're just saging away in your environment and all over your body and you're not doing the specific way that you need to do it it's not going to cleanse you it's going to call an energy at which the vibration that you are right now and sometimes un and subconsciously you have no idea what that is and you could be drawing in something that is very very negative or that could be bringing you um, a heavier energetic ailment if you're not sure what you're doing so please and you could be inviting that into your home if you're running around with that in your space and not really knowing what it is that you're asking so please make sure that if you're doing that come and ask me set up an appointment with me and we can discuss how you can do it yourself i can come and do it for you there's all kinds of different ways that spiritually that can be taken care of now energetically for your cleansing purposes or for your cleaning purposes move your furniture and all of that wherever you wish feng shui is an amazing thing to follow learning about your money corners the direction and flow of the universe in your home of how it can most benefit you the energy of the people that live in it and the money that flows to you 
you is amazing. Communication helps, um, um, that helps communication there. There's so many things that it can help feng shui in your home. If you don't believe in that, that's okay. Just tidying up your space is enough so that you have mental clarity, space clarity, and then the universe can bring to you what it is that you're asking. But please be careful with the saging and all of that because sage really, first of all, um, is a sacred indigenous medicine and is used to heal people and is for sacred practice and certain types of it are over harvested and are not sustainable and should not be used unless it's the unless it's knowledge that you have how to use it properly in the correct sense okay um so with that being said there needs to be very very um large caution used when using any sort of sage in burning practices at all now it is a wonderful oil to use for protection and barriers um in like a roller ball or something like that diffusing is wonderful but when you are actually smoking the actual herb let me grab my when you're actually using it to smoke out, please be careful with that because that's very serious business, okay? And um, you can actually make somebody very profoundly ill if you're doing it to someone and don't know what you're doing. Um, so with that, smudging, clearing your space, um, doing so properly, um, just adding clearing intentions to your home. And I know a lot of places, especially here where I'm at right now, it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> it's like negative four degrees outside. Um, so opening up your windows is not ideal, but even if just for a short little three to six minute period, let it be in increments of three minutes, going around and opening up your house and then even going back around and shutting it all down after three minutes. But allowing the um, cold energy, the new air, the crisp outside air to enter your stagnant, heat ridden environment helps give it a breath of fresh air, if you will, uh, for lack of a better term. <laughs> um, but also, um, it also in, allows you to, when you breathe in the air like that, you very much connect with spirit and how you could be connected to the earth outside, but there's barriers there unless you want to go put your feet in the snow. That's all. That's okay too. Um, but this is a much simpler, faster way in this. If you don't want your babies going outside because it's freezing out there, but they need to just, you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do because they are so stir crazy. I'm about to lose my mind. You need to let some new air in. Let it be for the longer period of six minutes so that it can cool down their environment and they can kind of get a new crisp idea or a new crisp energy in their environment. And then start after that, after you've cleared all that hot air out and everything and you've got the, <laughs> my, my mom used to tell us, go outside and blow the stink off of you because we have to go outside and go play when we would fight because the energy is stagnant inside if you don't let it be free and go experience something else. So air the air the environment out and then have them do something that is calming and productive to their brains so that they can stay focused on something that is not um, picking at my siblings or at you or myself or causing issues because I don't know what to do with the excess energy. I'm channeling that into something that's productive and now I feel like I've got control over my energy here. So helping your babies do something like coloring, sitting down and reading a book together, having a reading time, go let them get a pillow and a, and a blanket and go let them pick a corner on the floor. That's what my kids do. And I tell them it's reading time. Go get your books. They get a stack of whatever books they want out of our library and they go pick a spot literally on the floor in the corner and have their books and their little stuffed toys and they go read. And um, those are things that calm them and allow them to be um, listening to source because they are naturally channeling, observing and being focused on the images, but they're channeling source and they don't even know it. You as an adult channel source and don't even know it when you exercise, when you read, when you're really into a specific song. Why do specific songs make you feel hyped up or low or sad or not, not and be angry or why do they do that? Because there's specific things in your emotions that are being triggered by source whenever you're listening to those things. And they want you to channel those to be able to interpret the environment around you. Music is a wonderful tool to get them to calm down after they've exult, ex <clears throat> excuse me, exhausted their energy, jumping up and down and moving all over. It makes them very, very ready to kind of just mellow out, 
and they're ready to do something else. Um, I open up the windows and turn on the music and let my kids go all over the place and run and scream and do what they have to do for that six minutes. And then, okay, now it's time to go get your thoughts and your, your crayons and all of that. And they go in, they journal, they scribble in their books or use their stickers, whatever it is that they need to do. And that's how they get their energy out. It's an amazing tool. It's changed our lives. If my children on the spectrum that are super heightened and constantly always moving can do this, so can your children. And if you need help with that, I help mommies all the time. I help daddies all the time. I help grandparents all the time with, hey, I'm stuck at home doing homeschool now and my children are, are at work and I have grandkids. What do I do now? Um, we can work on that together because I'm in the same boat with you and we're we're making it work and they're they're doing wonderful and I want your kids to be thriving and calm so that we can have a happy home, happy parents, calm babies and a joyful home. That's a beautiful place to be. So, those are dreams come true for a lot of you. Okay? This is twin flame union for some of you, full moon. This bridge is being gapped here. This has been a long time coming for some people here. This is communication being gapped. Dreams come true because communication is being gapped here. See the water that is purple? This is indicative of your um, third eye and crown chakra cohesively working together to make your dreams come true by the full moon's manifestations and your um, unconscious, subconscious, emotional frequencies as water stands for emotion okay spirit speaks to you now through your dreams Bol lightning bolts of inspiration strike you now as awakening for your dreams to come true like a lightning bolt to your forehead or something or your crown chakra says hey wake up wake up stop living this way don't live in the negative frame of thought of what you thought you were supposed to be doing. This dreams come true and this divine spirit, like lightning bolt of inspiration to your forehead, they are literally showing me, has to do with some sort of religious factor. This could be good, bad, or indifferent. I don't know what your specific situation is, but you have to see how this is playing a factor in where spirit is telling you your dreams are to come true and where you're afraid to go here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, some of you can't hear me. I'm sorry. Let me turn it up here so maybe you can hear me. I apologize. I apologize. Sorry, guys. And if you guys are in that in some of the other countries, it's just because my bandwidth. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, we're going to pull a few more clarifying cards here as to the dreams and spirit because they would like to move on to a different deck and we're going to move on to those. Okay, and remember we have Third Harvest Broom and Journey here from these cards, the red cards that we're moving on from about some sort of pivotal shift in your root chakra but the ultimate the ultimate goal of today of what they want you to know is that there is unconditional love um in the ways that we need to look at what is true and what truth is and that's um we all are the same in going through specific things that others know nothing about and we are walking this journey here on earth together and segregating each other with uh judgments or with things that are not of the light or of love and are of human ego or expectations is not the way that source wishes for us to continue on okay so um let's see we have hmm, fulfillment of wishes right here we have a treasure chest full of your wish fulfillments if you'll just see the truth or just see a different perspective or just look at things with love nine remember i spoke earlier about three times three three triangle nine that's a dividend of three seven we have triumph after patience and planning of something inside of some solitude that you had to think about long and hard here heartache and loss caused this uh, hermit mode here nine virgo three times three again we have three we have nine um and this is spending much time deep heartfelt um sadness and um very makes me want to cry heavy throat chakra here ah, throat chakra um speaking a truth of some sort because my wish fulfillment depends on it 
this was an emotional loss or an emotional withdrawal because of truth. But now, after patience and planning of how you will live in your truth, there is triumph here. There will be triumph or there is triumph in the process of wish fulfillment right now. There is transformation of energy, 13. This is um, 11, 13, 10, 13, April 13th. That's my birthday. That's coincidental. That's a synchronistic wink just showing you that I'm on a correct timeline. That has nothing to do with me. I'm just letting you know that. Uh, and then also we have uh, J J July 13th. Uh, that's transformative energy. Those dates are specific. Uh, those numbers, either 7, 4, uh, 11, 10, uh, uh, 13 is transformation that's good luck this is letting you know here that there is some sort of heart chakra she's green heart chakra uh fulfillment here that is being desired that soon will be triumphant but there is some sort of truth that has to be spoke here you need to find your power to speak this truth your spiritual strength is much stronger than what you believe again we have heart chakra this is green green heart chakra strength you have spiritual strength beyond your knowing and you have so much power his eyes their eyes are green green she is green this is your heart's desire to have this triumph after much patience and planning, stop self-sabotaging because you're afraid of some sort of truth or what this may bring you. Whatever this brings you is meant to be and you have to speak your truth. Throat chakra five. This is positive change if you just speak your truth. Say what it is that ever you have to say, even if it's just screaming because of some sort of heartache and loss and you just need to scream the grief out. Just do it. Just do it. Go to a field, go somewhere, get a pillow. I don't know, but go scream in your car if you must, but get rid of it because source is demanding that you do so now. You have this triumph in your grasp. You have the power to obtain it. Eight, infinity. It's like it's yours. It's destined to be yours. Seven, eight, right in a row. Like, But you're just not standing in the power of the wisdom you know you hold here. Love begins once you speak this truth and can find balance in a situation. Rainbow, this has to do with LGBTQ community. This also has to do with the passing of loved ones, passing of children, rainbow babies, rainbow children. This is miscarriages for some of you. They're coming forward and letting you know that mommy, we, we are memories, your memories of love. We visit you today and let you know that we are here with you always. Please never forget again, these are green cards. These cards are green. Heart chakra. These answers to your heart are being answered without you even like consciously asking for them. Because you have such deep, deep dedication to whatever this is. Because this is your truth and you have so much power in speaking it. Notice that like... So her piece of clothing here is purple and gold. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but his cloak here is also purple and gold. Those are indicative of um, abundance and clarity in your third eye chakra and your uh, crown chakra, letting you know that there is great um, royalties and abundance coming to you once you find power in speaking your truth. There's wish fulfillments personal transformation has happened from this patience and planning on this triumph but you can feel that it's coming because of your spiritual strength it now aligns after a heartache and loss and after spending much time in solitude not only because of coronavirus but this is like personal time alone spending by myself to reflect on who I am as a person like literally where the memories of this love or memories of love or loss memories of loss are also coming up to me this is memories of love but memories of loss are also coming up to me and they're letting you me know letting to let you know that if you have memories of loss you need to see them as lessons or as ways to elevate and grow and see memories of love and replacement of that so that new love can begin in your life this has to do with relationships and also um um this is 
like business opportunities or relationships now develop into business opportunities or making a good business decision and loving what you're doing now because it begins and there is no more work and harvesting your goals is now effortless this is three and eight that's three again we have eight infinity spirit is asking you to follow your dreams and do it in love okay all right we have one more deck that we're going to clarify and then i think they're closing out Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. It actually is from a palette that my little sister bought me for Christmas, and I absolutely adore it. I have a whole bunch of them. There's like a ton of colors. There's, I'll have to pull it out here for you guys because you guys keep asking about it. But um, it's like a little glittery um, Anastasia Beverly Hills thing that she bought me for Christmas, and it's super cute. But thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> You're beautiful for saying so. Thank you. Okay. Um. So. Mother Earth, this is asking you to get grounded. This is my Earth sign, specifically Virgo and Taurus. Holding the world in your hands. You guys have some serious abundance coming for you. The world is answering your prayers and intentions after a very tumultuous type of um, environment or period of time where you were climbing all of these icy, rocky mountains. And now you've figured out through all of this fog and cloudiness how you clearly can hold the world in your hands and how to do so guiding children or loving children becoming a better parent becoming a better aunt uncle sister brother something is happening possibly for these earth signs or these earth signs are causing you to be better at doing this i don't really know this could be an earth sign or um, a sibling that is an earth sign i'm not really sure where that's coming from but there is possibility for that um, or maybe you are an earth sign and asking your sibling to be grounded or maybe you are the grounding of your sibling and you are their rock or something Something like that or maybe your sibling is your world I don't know but there's a lot of something going on here uh, bodies of water indicate that there is deep emotions happening and shifting between siblings and between um, uh, children uh, between mother and children um, bodies of water indicate that there is multiple there is many streams there is different issues here or different ways that this could go but it's all positive as long as we communicate in love and speak our truth with love this transformation is going to be beautiful beautiful again we have um a rainbow this is confirmation transformation in a different deck that we have a rainbow here her wings are rainbow and we also got hold on where is she sorry guys i have a lot of cards here <laughs> okay and we also got transformation here okay oop and there goes my earth card transformation is definitely underway please make sure that it's positive because you're staying positive okay guys right. last pull here we go transformation by looking at things through eyes of love they're asking that you do all things in love if you've missed the beginning of our recording here or my session please go look at the cards that we pulled from my um my first beginning of what our overall essence of what Source would like you to know today. And it's living in love and standing in truth and taking a leap of faith. Taking a positive leap of faith that leads to something beautiful. Take a risk and put your heart into true desired and actions. And this is planned methodical leap of faith. This is not like, hey, let's um, go sell our house and not really know what we're going to do. And yeah, don't do that. Don't do anything irrational. <laughs> don't do that. Do something that is a planned methodical leap of faith that um, you now will be receptive to or now that you're looking at things in love, you are having a new receptivity to something. This is water. This is emotional receptivity. This is balancing of water as there is two. Um, this is inner wisdom bringing balance or receptivity or receptive to being receptive to inner wisdom now or being um, happy having your inner wisdom um, and listening to that is allowing you to be receptive to something that is going to allow you to be independent and um, living in undying love like we asked you with the previous deck um, with the divine feminine empowerment deck here uh, we ask that you live in undying love 
and please, when you do so, expect a miracle. Mother Mary we have here, that's another religious figure, and we had um, Guadalupe earlier. This is just a wink and a synchronistic wink from the universe telling you that somebody or lots of people's root chakra are under um, extreme transformation right now as um, there is much scrutiny as to what it is that we want to believe and how we want to go forward in our lives and how we wish to do so. Okay, guys, it's been wonderful. I have to get going. It's been a wonderful time with you guys. I love sitting here and chatting with you. I could do it all day, uh, but I do have to get going. So until next time, if there's anybody that you know that needs my help, if you have any questions, there's suggestions that you want me to start talking about topics. I'm starting to take um, suggestions and making topics out of them so that I can get on here and discuss them with you guys and not just do cards because I'm, I'm um, noticing that there's a whole bunch of other different levels of questions that are opening up about um, the universe and um, the afterlife and what happens whenever people pass as I speak to people that have passed over the veil um, and I fluently do that quite quite often so if those are things that you need or you need some sort of um, answers to other issues that you're having in your life chronic pain um, you're suffering with some sort of mental physical or emotional ailment please come and see me or somebody you know or love needs my help please share my messages with them and send them to come and see me okay my goal is to spread as much light, love, and happiness all over this planet that we can so I can raise the vibrational frequency as the collective as a whole. All right, guys, light, love, and hugs. Stay safe. Until next time, guys. Bye.